Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV. We're in Las Vegas at Freedom Fest, and we're talking now with the great Governor Gary Johnson, two-term elected Republican governor of New Mexico, running for the Republican nomination. Gary, thanks for sitting with us. Nick, great seeing you. What, uh, you're, you've been out on the hustings here for a while. What are your issues that are gaining the most traction for uh, people? Well, uh, you know, I don't want to say I'm gaining traction in, in any way. I mean, I'm out there talking about these issues uh, constantly, and the issues as I see them are the fact that we're bankrupt. We are bankrupt, and unless we fix this, I just think we're going to find ourselves, all of us are going to find ourselves with nothing. We're going to find ourselves in so decades of strife. What's the uh, quick fix, or is there a quick fix on, on being bankrupt? What, is, is, what does there, the federal there government is, have to there do? There is a quick fix. There's a quick fix, and I don't think it's so unpalatable. I don't think it's so unreasonable to think that we couldn't actually balance the budget. Do that. Hey, we're we're saved. Do you balance I mean, that through tax uh, increases? No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Do, uh, no, no tax increases whatsoever. I've become an advocate of the fair tax, which, by all my free economist, uh, uh, what is the fair tax? Fair tax would be uh, the consumption tax. One one federal tax. So you're going to do away with the income tax. Uh, you're going to do away with the IRS. Uh, all federal taxes, with the exception of one federal tax, also does away with corporate tax. Does away with business to business tax. Is this uh, and what fairtax.org? That's the uh, okay. What what's the amount of revenue you're expecting to raise as a percentage of GDP? Well, that it's uh, revenue neutral. So uh, in this case, revenue neutral. So it still necessitates a 43 percent reduction in federal spending. Okay, and where, where do you start reducing uh, federal spending by 43%? Well, I start off by talking about the biggies, uh, yeah. Medicaid, Medicare, not cutting Social Security. Social Security is simply a system that needs to take in more money than what it pays out. Without raising taxes, you could raise the retirement age. You could have a means testing, which is yeah. very all-encompassing, uh, and you could change the infla uh, the um, the escalator built into Social Security from the wage index to the inflation rate. So uh, why and, is and then moving on to military too. Then then put military on the table. Forty three percent reduction in military spending. But doesn't that leave us open to uh, you know another nine eleven? Uh, I would argue that no, it's not going to leave us open to another nine eleven. I would argue that we're just not going to be building roads, schools, bridges, highways, and hospitals in other countries when we would have those same needs in this country. Uh, you have recently you've come out against uh, various kinds of social conservative positions that other Republican candidates are signing for. Uh, for instance, Michelle Bachman signed a uh, kind of initiative, uh, you know, that was uh, widely perceived and I think rightly as anti-homosexual. Are, do Republican candidates, do the other Republican candidates get it that, uh, you know, the, it, the days of social conservatism you know, as a government issue seem to be behind us? Uh, no, uh, apparently not. And, and maybe, uh, maybe this is the test. Maybe this is the election cycle that this is really put to the test. Uh, I don't think it's... I, if it is the issue, I think uh, Republicans are going to be relegated to a third party status after this cycle that they'll never come back from. Hmm. Okay, well, thank you, Governor Gary Johnson, candidate for uh, the Republican nomination for president in 2012. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.